fabulous. Let's cut that open. Have a little bit here. They are banging. Let's get started on this. First we're gonna take a look at is our zucchini courgette or kusa, whatever you call that. These ones are enormous. Let me just show you my hand. They're almost marrow size, you know, you know, these are big hefty ones. And again, as you can see, these are kind of a light green color. Uh, in Europe, usually thinner and darker green. You can use whichever you want, whichever, you know, whichever part of the world you're in. At the moment, these are the ones I've got. Nice and big, let's prepare them. Step one or stage one, you can see that I've topped and toweled them, taken these bits off and just the end bits there. Step two, as you can see, I've cut them down the center long ways. Next, we're gonna get out some of that center. And as you can see, we've got these hollowed out now. I've just done this with a spoon. It's basically the kind of seeded part. You can just sort of very easily scoop it out. We've got some nice kind of looking little boats there. So they're prepared now. What we need to do now, because of the size of these ones, they're very big, I'm just gonna blanch them. Okay, so pan with some water in it, touch of salt. Simply, we're gonna pop them in. Just gonna let them go just for like four minutes. Okay, and there you go. So still very firm. Just a, like I say, four minutes of blanching in some boiling salted water. Just gives them a little head start when we put them in the oven. Just drop those other ones in. And then we can move on to the next step. Okay, so we can just set these aside now. As you can see, they're steaming away. What it's done, it's just sort of loosened them up a little bit. Like I say, they're still nice and firm, but just a little bit more pliable. Let's move on to the stuffing. Okay, let's look at the stuffing here for these zucchinis. So I've got here some chickpeas. They're from a can, I'm using from a can. If you're using from a can, always give them a nice wash in some cold water. I've got two or three ripe tomatoes cut nice and small. One onion cut again small. Powders today, we're gonna to be using these four. Equal parts, about a teaspoon each of turmeric, cumin, coriander and chili powder. Or if you wanted, you could just be using a bit of curry powder if you've got a mix already. Some fresh cilantro or coriander, some optional chili in there, fresh chili, I like that in there, and some garlic right there. What we're gonna do is get to the cooker, get this started with a touch of oil, we're gonna add a bit of salt. Okay, so I've got a pan here, a touch of oil in it, I'm using sunflower oil. We're gonna start off with our onion and our garlic. If you wanted, you could be putting some ginger in this as well. Very simply, two minutes, medium heat, throw this around in the pan. Okay, wonderful. Right, we're now gonna add in that can of chickpeas. But what I've done is I've just roughly crushed them in my hand, very easily. We're now gonna add those tomatoes. Try and use a nice ripe tomato. We're gonna put the powders in, let's have a look again. So if you wanted, you could be using some curry powder or equal parts of cumin, turmeric, coriander, and chili powder. In that goes. And the optional fresh chili. Let's get some salt in there. And we're gonna cook this for about four minutes or so. Wonderful. Off goes the heat. In goes that little bit of cilantro or coriander, whatever you call that. You can give that a little mix. And this really simple but beautiful stuffing is ready. So we're gonna get this now into our zucchini. Okay, so here's our zucchinis. I've got them on a metal tray, they're gonna go in the oven. And what I'd like you to do is get your oven on maximum heat. We need a preheated oven, highest heat you can. Now I'm using metal, you could be using ceramic or glass even. 
So what we're going to do, we're going to grab a spoon and we're going to fill this zucchini with our lovely chickpea stuffing. And that really is a perfect amount. So, for me, a little bit of cheddar cheese, just on the top. If you wanted to keep these vegan, obviously you can just put them in the oven just like that and roast them off. But this little bit of cheese on the top, I always find just brings it together nicely. But obviously it becomes vegetarian, not vegan. So maximum heat, oven's on, isn't it? In they go. For me, they're gonna be about 15, 20 minutes max, you know what we're looking for. It's all cooked already, our, our zucchinis are nice and steamed, which we done earlier on. 15, 20 minutes, golden brown, beautiful, see you then. And there you go, they look wonderful, don't they? Really delicious, really easy, hope you enjoy that. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, we'll see you soon, lots of love.